Bonjour, welcome to the October kit. Here we are, virtual again, unbelievable, but so happy to know that we are together. And I know we had such a rough month last month. So I decided to do a kit this month where we're gonna focus on antioxidant defense facial. So you're gonna hear me during this kit to talk a lot about anti antioxidant because this is really what our skin need at this moment to recover from what we've been going through in the last months. So I hope you are doing well and I really hope you're all being safe and healthy and let's spend some time to do some pampering for ourselves, to do some self-care for ourselves, and definitely for our skin because it needs more, more than ever this month. So get ourselves ready, like usual. I think a lot of you have the routine down by now. Your towel, your mirror, because you really need during the facial to be in touch with our skin, to look at our skin, to make sure that everything is happy and smooth. Get your little hair clip, or your little headband, your warm water, and your little facial kit. So when you have that all ready, let's open our facial kits, let's lay out all those little numbers who make no sense until we're gonna do it together. Voila, let's get started. I have mine all laid out. Let's put our clip to our hair. Remember, we're going to be a little messy every time we do the facial and this is how you always look like when you leave my treatment room. You have a new hairdo, so we're going to do the same. Let's be ready for that. Have your cotton compress and your gauze. I cut mine, my gauze, always in two like I always do, so if you want to do that, do that now. Let's go wash your hand. I already did it, so I'm just going to put my little Immunimis to be anterior antiseptic. I have my towel next to me. I like to have a towel just to dry my hand. And let's start with our little number one. So our number one this month, always trying to find you new goodies to make it more exciting and always find the goodies that will target the need of our skin right now. So the number one is the Nettoyant Creme from Yonga. Very, very creamy, very, very soothing for the most sensitive skin. I always love to recommend the Nettoyant Creme, even for rosacea, so as sensitive as it can be. You're going to see that it's super creamy. It may not need water. I like to add a little bit water to it, but that's your personal choice. Um, so I'm going to add water. Um, it's not going to be for me. It's not going to be for me because it's so gentle, so creamy. You can smell it, it smells peppermint. Peppermint is going to be beautiful to calm, to soothe the skin. So let's enjoy this little peppermint cleanser. Let's apply it all over our face, all over our neck, even the décolleté, because we had beautiful weather in a way, a bit of sun, so we've been showing our décolleté. So I hope when you show your décolleté, you put sunblock all over your neck and décolleté. So this is why we want to extend the cleanser onto the décolleté. And let's do some circular motion everywhere who need attention. I don't know about you, but wearing the mask, it's been feeling way more dry. Plus, with all the pollution we had received, the skin can be a little bit more sensitive. Even if we don't see, we may feel it. So let's be gentle and let's do circular motion and spend some time on cleansing. Cleansing is a very important part of the routine. You cannot just cleanse in one second. You really need to spend some time to clean the skin properly, but also with your finger, feel how your skin is. Like right now I can feel and have little bumps here. So I know I'm gonna need to spend some attention during the massage in this area. Be sure that you clean very well behind the ears because often I can see little black head and that's due to a improper cleansing. So really spend some time, if you need to do a double cleansing, mostly during this time with all the pollution, please do a double cleansing. So circular motion, extend even to the airline as close as possible. You can do the eye area, not a single problem. Focus on the nose, focus on the chin, focus on the jawline. And then when you feel that you really, really spend some time cleansing properly, we're gonna remove it. 
So the cleansing, like I always say, super important at night. If you do it properly, and even if you want to do it twice at night, you really don't need it to do it in the morning, but it has to be done properly. So we use um, 4x4 gauze to remove it when we do our facial. When you in your bathroom at night and you clean your skin, use a washcloth. Use something, don't spread just the water and splash the water onto your skin. Use something to be able to grab all the deposit that we've been receiving even more these last months to do a beautiful cleansing where you know that you don't have any pollution, any debris, any ashes onto our skin. And when you do that very well, then in the morning your skin is full of goodies because you have done your nighttime routine. And we will talk a little bit more. I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to do in the morning. But right now, I can feel that I need to do another layer, another cleanse with my washcloth. So I remove all my sunblock because I had sunblock today, of course, like always. So I'm going to clean properly a second time my skin. At that point, if you want to do another layer of the nettoyant crème, go for it. Do it a second time. And let's turn our little 4x4 to a good side, to a clean side. And let's do a second pass. So I hope you've been all being really good um, with yourself, been taking care of yourself, even with this craziness and we've been experiencing on top of COVID because more than ever, we really need to be gentle to ourselves, gentle to our skin, gentle to ourselves. So now that I um, did my good cleansing, I can feel it, everything has been removed. Be sure to remove where you put your cleanser. So be sure you remove it around the ears. Be sure you remove around the corner of the nose, corner of the lip. This is why, this is really why I always insist when you come to see me to say, use a washcloth, the very old technique, because it permits to grab everything by splashing the water to remove. It's very hard to spot those little area. And it sounds like maybe a little detail, but it's super important. So then disregard that. In the meantime, I was mentioning, you know, how the cleansing is super important at night and in the morning your skin is clean. You don't need to do anything. If you do want to use another cleanser under the shower, you absolutely can do it. What I've been in love with lately is this little konjac sponge. So the little konjac sponge is a natural sponge. When you put it in water, it becomes super supple. And what I've been doing, and mostly the last months, this is what I use every morning under my shower. I don't use a cleanser. I just have my little sponge, totally soaked, totally wet, on my wet skin from the shower, and I rub the sponge, circular motion, all over the face. Not very long, few minutes, but every, everywhere. And the sponge will permit to clean even more the skin, to stimulate the blood flow, and we really need that, and to, in the same time, soothe the skin. What is important when you use this little sponge, because few of you have been using it lately, and they tell me, oh, but my sponge feel like it's dissolving. If you leave your sponge like that onto your shower, after a while, it's gonna feel like it's dissolving and the sponge becoming a little bit broken. So you have a little string that come to your sponge. So be sure to hang the little string in your shower so it can dry itself because the sponge should be able to keep you really few months. And if you don't have one and you want one, don't hesitate to um, text me or to email me. So now that we've gone done with the cleanser, let's do our number two. Our number two is going to be a soft exfoliant, totally black. It's a combination of charcoal and mud with a volcanic microcrystal. So you're gonna feel it onto your skin. It's a little, you can feel the little microcrystal. We're gonna apply it everywhere. And as we apply it, we're gonna have the mud and the charcoal who's gonna permit to really purify the skin, clean the skin very deeply. And we have the little rubbing, um, volcanic crystal to give a mechanical exfoliation. You may want to add a little bit of water to it 
to just make it a little bit more smooth and you see when I had the water it totally start changing the texture you don't have to have strong pressure it can be very gentle pressure we don't want the skin to be red this is a soft exfoliation this is the exfoliation to really start removing the pollution the debris everything that the skin has been accumulating for over a month we're going to do a deeper exfoliation later so don't be rough let's be gentle let's prepare the skin but let's make it comfortable into the texture where it's not too dry so just do circular motion again focus in the area who need attention i was mentioning i feel bumps here i'm going to focus in this area so wherever you feel and the skin has been needed a little bit more attention whether it was a little bit too dry whether it was bumpy stay in this area a little bit longer and we don't need to do that too too long just a few minutes and again circular motion little effleurage gentle effleurage and look at your skin at the same time because if you do too strong of a pressure you may gonna see redness and if you see redness you've been a little bit too rough a little bit bring you a long way we don't need to be too rough we have a full facial in front of us we will take care of our skin so Focus also in this area where we clean like around the ears because we don't want those little blackheads. And then when you feel that it's been good, like you had a good soft exfoliation, even by adding water, we're going to remove it. And we're going to remove it with a 4x4 four four, uh, washcloth. If you don't have clean water, let's take a little break and let's go and get some cold water to remove it. So let's grab how to uh, four by four cotton gas, two more, cold water. I don't know if you feel it, but even with a very gentle effleurage, with this um, gentle exfoliant, I can feel my skin a little tingling. And this month, more than ever, you may feel your skin more sensitive, even if you don't see it, even if you don't see redness. We receive so much ashes, so much pollution that our skin is definitely has changed and more sensitive. So let's pay attention to that. So grab all the gentle exfoliant. And when you grab it, you still can feel that we're doing a little bit of exfoliation. And because the pressure may be a little bit stronger when we remove it, you're going to see a little bit of pinkness. And like I say always, pinkness is good. Red at that level is too much because we're only, only preparing the skin for the deep exfoliation. So if you feel some redness, be more gentle onto your touch with your skin. When we're done with it, when we go into our next level, which is going to be the deep, deep exfoliation. You may want to rinse a little bit more and to do a second pass. I'm so proud of you to still doing your self-care and even more happy that we all do that together every month. So do a second pass on your eyes, very important, corner of the nose, very well the cheek, the jawline, and the neck. And I don't know if you can see in the camera, but my neck is a little sensitive, so I can see some pinkness, it's not red, it's just pink, so nothing to worry about. Super. Okay, so now the skin is clean. The skin had a good preparation for the deep exfoliation. We're going to do one more preparation for the deep exfoliation. This is how number three, which doesn't have a number. It's a Yonka 5, the toner. So open your little jar, get the Yonka 5, the lavender, the geranium, the rosemary, thyme, and the cypress, and let's splash that onto our skin. First, it smells so good. And I'm sure just by smelling it, it's going to bring you back to the treatment room because I use that during the treatment with uh, Dr. Lucas and a little gentle spray. And so I do that every time we have a facial together because I love how hydrating, how soothing it is. And I love the effect of the essential oil to be super antibacterial, antiseptic. So massage those young cat five into your skin. It's also part of your toner if you use a young cat toner. This is the smell of Yonka, the signature of Yonka. So just massage it 
and after that we will be ready totally our skin will be totally ready to go to the next level and to do the deep exfoliation you know when i do my facial i notice been noticing that lady even when i do my routine i really extend it to my neck even to the back of the neck it's so important to nourish to hydrate to care about your neck about your decollete and even on the back it's like super important we often receive way more sun on our back and we may have sometimes um the habit to forget to extend the sunblock on the back of the neck so you know, it's just a little extension of your product. It doesn't take you more product. So do that. Start having the habit to do that. So let's go now. We still have a little bit of the Yonka 5. We will use it later so we can cap it so we don't lose any of those precious essential oil. Let's go to the deep exfoliation. Like last time, you have two little fjords. One who's very yellow and that would be for your massage. So put that aside. You take more the liquid and the transparent one. That is your peel. So open it, apply it everywhere. One application is for your full face. And as soon as you're gonna apply it, you're gonna feel tingliness, paperiness. It is the same one that we did last time and I kept the same one because I love the combination of the H and BHA, the salicylic and the lactic acid because they target the skin in two different levels, exactly what we need now. Soft, not soft, superficial exfoliation to remove all the pollution and deeper exfoliations to be able to be soothing anti-inflammatory to the skin. So right now, I don't know about you, but I can feel it super tingling. So don't worry about it. Let the tingliness go. It's going to stop after a minute. If it feels too intense, then just remove it. If it's not too intense, gentle, very gentle stimulation, very gentle effleurage all over the face. And by now, you're going to feel that it's starting to disappear a little bit. It may stay in the area who need more attention. Like right now, I can really feel it in my forehead, which is a little bit new. I didn't realize my forehead could be dry or sensitive. So it's good because it's telling you where we're going to need to focus during the massage. So I feel it around my mouth, totally normal because we've been wearing masks so this area has a tendency to be more dry but for me specifically and everybody may be different you may feel it in some area you couldn't even think about so just massage it gently light light stroke onto your skin even around the eye area very important to target also those little lines i love to call them expression lines so focus in this area, fo stay on the bone, focus on the upper eyelid, focus where it needs attention. I need attention in my pigmentation, so I'm going to focus in my pigmentations on the dry area and also on the neck. And I do feel also the tingliness more on the neck. So it's another part that I'm going to have to focus personally during the massage. So think about that, look at your skin. So when we do the massage, those little tingling area, this is where you're gonna want to spend more time. We're gonna leave the deep exfoliation between one minute to five minutes. More is not better. We don't need more than five minutes. So look at your phone, look at your timer, be ready after five minutes you need to be removed. In the meantime, we need to clean our water one more time. You need to have your four by four gauze. I cut them because I like to remove it with two different, um, with each hand. If you don't mind to do it in one hand, you don't need to cut it, it's as you wish. But in the meantime, let's take a minute to rinse our water and then to remove our peel. Okay, let's remove our peel. Your water is clean. Let's take our little four by four gauze. So the thicker one, cold, cold water. We remove to, uh, we want to remove the deep exfoliation. So don't want any heat now. And you may gonna feel like by now you shouldn't have any tingliness on your skin, but you may gonna feel that with the gauze and with the cold water, it will be a little tingling 
just during the cleanup of the peel and that's okay don't worry we will soothe it right after that during our massage so remove everything love the texture of the gauze to grab everything permit to finish for me at least i feel the deep deep exfoliation remove it if you extend it to the neck don't be afraid i actually really clean it properly and like I say, you may gonna feel a little bit of tingliness when you remove it because the gauze has a strong texture onto the skin, so it's okay. I can feel the pinkness coming back into my neck. We will have a lot of soothing massage. Two different products we're gonna apply. We have a very lovely mask, so by the end of the treatment, it's gonna be glowing. Don't worry. When we Done with the cleansing, we're gonna go to our little number five. And I love this number five. I think it's something you're really gonna enjoy. It's very fun, has a beautiful color. So now that I talk about it, let's do it. Disregard that, wipe your little hands. And let's grab our number five. Super orange. I love to call it the super fruit smoothie of the skin it's a serum it's very liquidy grab it all it is um, antioxidant defense serum this is where I get the name for the facial because I really love that name and because I really love that product so it's loaded loaded of super fruit and it's loaded on green tea so we have a lot of vitamin c and you're going to see it's going to penetrate right away onto the skin and i don't know if you can feel it but as i apply it it feels so soft so gentle we want all the antioxidant to really calm the inflammatory even if we don't feel and we have inflammation into the skin we do because of the last weeks we've been having so we really need to calm the skin we really need to protect our collagen and the antioxidant will do that it will help to recover the skin because it's very it's not oily it's water-based it's going to penetrate right away so just massage it until it's penetrated if you have leftover be sure you grab it all insist in the little eye area insist on the eyelid always good to have a little extra on that part of her skin and what I've been noticing is the best of the best of uh, antioxidant. It's a combination of the vitamin C and a vitamin E. So let's grab our cactus oil and that's where we're going to do the massage with. And the cactus oil is loaded on vitamin E. So grab everything. Let's be generous. We're going to extend it to the neck, to the décolleté, to the eye area. And the cactus oil feels so good for deep nourishment deep hydration it's a serum it's an oil and i recommend for our skin type even for breakout so because of the inflammation that we've been receiving the irritation on the skin we may feel little bumps onto our skin so we know the cactus oil will permit to heal that it goes deep 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 into the skin due to the molecular size so let's massage and i think at that point it's more than ever important to do a 15 minute massage I don't know how you've been feeling, but personally, this last month with all the pollution and the smoke, I've been having a lot of headache. So if you do feel the same, spend some time where you have your headache in your temple. If you have headache behind your eyes, do some little digital pressure around your eyes and spend some time, light pressure, but all around the eyes. Even on top, like right here is a very good point. So the little digital pressure spend some time in this area where maybe you have headache behind your head and right onto your neck so just to pressure in it massage it if you have to extend it to the scalp because you felt that you had more headache directly uh, on the back of your head then do it just don't be afraid to mess up your hair it's okay we can wash them later so let's spend 15 minutes to massage, we can do light effleurage, we can do a little bit of tapping, 
I think last time we talked about that. It's beautiful to bring the uh, blood flow to create oxygenation. So let's do that. We can do even little pinching and we can do that all over the face, all over the neck, onto the decollete, even around the eyes. But in this case, the skin is very gentle. So very, very little pinch, very, very little tapping and just Let's enjoy this time for ourselves. So this is a moment where I will say, light a candle, put a very lovely music, something you enjoy, grab some water, grab some herbal tea, and let's massage for 15 minutes and let's find each other in 15 minutes. What you may experience during that time, it's a little bit of heat. Like right now I can see my skin is a little, feel a little hot. It's not red at all. It just feel a little warm. That's okay. It's just a penetration of the product, the antioxidant. We did a very deep exfoliation now with soothing. So it's okay to feel the heat, to not see redness, because then we're gonna have a beautiful mask to calm the skin. But let's spend 15 minutes to massage and we see each other after that. I hope you enjoyed those 15 minutes and really took it to pamper yourself, make yourself feel good, make your skin feel good. So now let's go into our number seven. The number seven is a firming detoxifying mask. Super green, super creamy. Let's apply it all over the face and it's cool. I mean, if you feel the heat on your skin, I still do feel the heat after the deep peel, after the massage and the mask feels so lovely. What I love about this mask is we have the pentoid, we have the kaolin, it's a very healing clay, love clay for the skin, but we're not gonna let it dry because if the clay dry, the clay doesn't work anymore and we want the calming, the soothing, the oxygenation of the clay. So let's massage it. We also have a lot of uh, sunflower and avocado oil, it's gonna be super nourishing and we have some kale and some carrot. So we started with a lot of fruit, with a fruit smoothie. Now we go to a vegetable smoothie for the skin. And we also have peptide. And that's a peptide who's gonna be super firming. So we're gonna detox the skin, we're gonna firm the skin, we're gonna nourish the skin, we're gonna calm the skin. You can leave the mask for five minutes without a compress if you want. Or you can straight go into your compress because I do not want you to let the mask dry. And if you notice the way I apply it and you have plenty enough mask to do the same, you do not want to see this by, to see the skin by transparency. You really want the mask to cover all the skin. So remove whatever you have left and um, on your finger and then grab your little compress. So open your compress. I clean my water. If you haven't cleaned your water yet, go and clean your water. Let's put the compress into the cold water. Again, we want cold water and let's apply the compress onto the mask. That's gonna keep our mask totally moist, which permit the bentoid and the kaolin to really heal, calm and soothe the skin. Absolutely do not let it dry. And because we have the compress, because we're not gonna let it dry, that is a moment where I really want you to take at least 20 minutes for yourself. So do the compress, find a spot where you are comfortable, whether it's a comfortable chair, whether it's on your couch, and apply the compress everywhere. My lip. What may happen, because the compress, at least for me, doesn't cover everything, the edge is gonna dry, but let's not worry about that. If you feel that it's a little too dry during the application, then grab some water and pat it, but it's not gonna be a problem whatsoever. So find a comfortable area. I really want you to take 20 minutes. I really want that mask to be 20 minutes onto your skin, absolutely. We need it more than ever. Before we said 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but it's been very rough onto our skin the last months. So we really, really need to pamper it as much as possible. And that mask has all the goodies 
to help inflammation, to nourish the skin, to hydrate the skin, and to be um, soothing at the same time. So let it set for 20 minutes. Grab your water. I really want you to drink some water right now. Lay down, relax, put some music, put some candle, or whatever feel good. And I see you back in 20 minutes. Voila, I hope you have 20 good minutes of rest and let's remove our beautiful mask. I don't know how it feels for you, but already for me, my skin feels super calm, super soothe, cool, exactly what we want after a facial. So let's grab the compress and while we grab the compress, let's try to remove, oops, it's dripping a little bit still because I really make my compress wet. So be sure that you lean and you don't get too messy with it. And let's grab everything. I'm going to turn around. Oops, I can see it dripping. Reactivate the edge because they have dry a little bit. And then we have our last four by four cotton. The water is cold and clean. And let's keep cleansing her a lovely mask and discover her beautiful glow and her beautiful skin. Oh yeah, I can see it. Mm. You know, when I do the facial for you guys, this is my most favorite part at the end of the treatment. When I remove your mask and I can see the glow into your skin, it's feel like, oh, that is so lovely. So I hope you can feel that way right now and appreciate how lovely and important it is to do your facial and to do some self-care. Oh yeah, it's way more calm. And there is no redness, no tingliness, no irritation. We really boost the skin. We needed to do that to remove all the pollution. And now it's super glowing breathing again oxygenating i mean i can feel like my skin is totally breathing totally calm mm, pretty nice and after we're done with that we're going to finish with our finishing up cream the cream then i choose today is going to be focusing on hydration and nourishment it's actually called the deep moisturizing cream and that will be the last touch up of the treatment so do a second pass. Again, be good to remove it everywhere, even if it's your, your airline, around your eyes, corner of the nose, tip of the nose, Have some here. And really spend some time looking at your skin. Like I may have forgot to mention at the beginning of the treatment, start always looking at your skin before and after the treatment and see how beautiful and glowing it is. So let's do our number eight. Well, actually, you know what? Before the number eight, let's go back to our emulsion. We have leftover and we may still have leftover after the treatment. So if you still have leftover, use it tonight or tomorrow morning. Put your young on all over the face just to give an extra soothing, finishing up the cleansing, extend it to your neck. And when you apply it, Feel your skin, see how soft and smooth your skin feels. It's very important to notice that. So massage your younger five, and then let's apply our day cream. I have leftover, so I will use that tonight. If you are not going out after the treatment, you really don't need to do anything. So everything we've done is plenty enough to directly go to bed. If you want, you can just apply a little bit of the Yonka 5, the toner. If you don't, it's fine. Just go directly to bed. And um, so I'm grabbing the number eight. I'm grabbing the day cream, the deep moisturizing cream. Um, but keep it for tomorrow morning. When you wake up after your shower, then apply the Yonka 5 onto your skin. So right now, let's massage this hydrating, deep hydrating and nourishing cream. Like I say, every time I give you the little kit, I never put sunblock. And the reason I don't put sunblock is really because 
I do believe after a facial like that, it's good to not go on a hike. It's good to just let the skin rest. However, if you do want to go on a hike, it's okay. Just put your sunblock and protect your skin, wear your hat, but know that you will have to remove your sunblock uh, before bedtime. So let's, look, let's do a last look and let's enjoy how wonderful our skin feel. I hope you really do feel the same. I want to thank you so much for every month making the video together. It's always such a pleasure. Even if it's virtual, it's such a pleasure to know that we're still in touch. I really hope by next month it will not be virtual, but I think I'm gonna be the last one to be able to open up. So in May, may probably be virtual and I hope we still gonna be see each other. Know that as soon as I know I can open, I will send you an email, I will let you know, and I cannot wait to see you. I also really want to thank Phoebe because Phoebe is behind the camera and always make that happen. I will never be able to be in touch with you, never be able to share the facial with you if Phoebe was not there. So thank you so much, Phoebe. Thank you for joining me every month and I will talk to you and be in touch and see you very soon. Au revoir, à bientôt.